Earth's level four mobilization. Location Fisk Tower. Fisk. Oh, hold up, hold up. Okay, that was perfect, but I think we need to tone down the heroism a little bit. Like, I'm not trying to get, like, a news story about this intro or anything, and yeah, you look great sitting there, but man, just way too heroic. It's, you know, it's YouTube memes and, and whatnot. Let's just run it back a little bit. Okay, not here, but just a little bit forward, just a tad. We were literally just here. Like, what's gonna make you think to, like, oh, hey, he wants me to take it back, and, and now he wants to go look forward. Hey, let's just go back to where we started. That doesn't... Okay. Whatever, this is so much effort just for one joke. Oh, let's just... Fuck it. Okay, let's just cut to it. Fantastic. We actually got in the obligatory pizza time joke. I'm not gonna lie, even though we got the meme, that was a whole lot of work and not a lot of payoff. To be completely honest, it actually kind of reminds me of this other PS4 game that came out a couple years ago. You know, a lot of work, a lot of hype, no payoff, but I guess that's just me. Wow, it is weird how nature does that, huh? Well, Spider-Man PS4 is officially out and swinging around the city. And who doesn't love playing as the Big Apple's favorite red and blue, wall-crawling, crime-fighting, web-shooting, possibly prepubescent public enemy Spider-Man, a.k.a. Pete. And you get to join him on his quest to... Stop every carjacking in the city. Beat enemies like a slab of pork inside of a Philadelphia meat locker. Collect new suits. And finally take on the toughest villain he's ever had to face. Financial Responsibility. But enough about that and bills and great power and great responsibility. It's not about what you're going to do in the city. It's about how you look when you're doing those things in the city. Looking confident equals feeling confident, and I learned that from my life coach. There's a total of 27 suits in the game, and I can guarantee no matter what you like or what you're into, there is in fact a suit for you that ranges from all sorts of personalities. Some of the highlights being as follows. I have no imagination. Comes with Ratchet and Clank on Blu-ray. Poorly funded Space Cadet. Batman Arkham Knight. I have too much imagination. I don't feel so good. The best suit in the game. Oh my god, like, look at his thumb. Just, just look at it. It's like, what? Oh my god, it's unnatural. That's unholy, that's satanic right there. This is honestly the perfect trifecta. Like, you literally become Sans, a rejected He-Man villain, and possibly the coolest guy on the subway. Ignoring the fact that there's probably one dude who's filming magic tricks in front of civilians and really stealing your thunder. And if you're really feeling like a rapscallion and ready to punch in your New York City Metro card, you bet your bottom britches that you can ride into the town of Agua Fria with this bad boy strapped to you. All right, so I had like this whole thing planned out for talking about movement, but honestly, like, come on, let's be real. The game's been out for like a week. And there are literal videos of YouTubers reacting to just the swinging in-game. Like, the movement's fantastic. It's great. I don't even need to talk about it. It's wonderful. But we're going to talk about it anyway. You know, we call that the business stalling. I need to make time for this video. Speaking of time, the only instance I've ever seen a 23-year-old college grad move this fast is when they see a 48-pack of Top Ramen on sale. It can be hard to get a hold of movement at first, you know. But, like, it's kind of the concept of you must learn how to walk before learning how to run. Well, imagine, like, that whole idea, 
but you move at the speed and intensity of a 6th grader who's one kill off of a nuke on high rise. But overall, to be honest, there's nothing that I can say that hasn't already been said. It's great, slap in some tricks for extra XP and some flashy animations, and you might, just maybe, have a system that'll be better than some fucking game from 2004 that everyone won't shut up about. <laughs> I'm going to break your bones and make you cry for your mama. I know. I'm going to take a wild guess that you're strong but dumb. But what do we actually do in-game? Well, I'm glad you asked, buddy, because this is what you're actually doing in-game. Yeah, I didn't think I'd use that joke twice. Well, neither did I. Nah, just kidding. You'll be doing the main story. The Yellow Brick Road, the Critical Time, the Golden Path, however you want to put it, this is probably how you'll end up spending your time. Peter's 23 years old, out of college, working at a startup lab, funded solely off of grant money, by the way, and specializes in giving the player a much-needed rest between missions and, uh, solving puzzles. Yeah, I get it. They're just puzzle minigames that allow you to flex on small brains of the world because you completed the hacking minigame from Bioshock 1, but before you praise or complain about the constant minigames, Insomniac literally left an option in the settings for you to turn them off. I'm not sure if that's a button of, we know you don't want to do them, or you can't figure them out so you can just skip them, or can I please just play as Spider-Man in the Spider-Man game, but it exists, so it's there. Aside from being a puzzle solver extraordinaire and also simultaneously repping both Crips and Bloods while wearing one suit and walking through Harlem, Spider-Man goes through the world fighting villains that bid for power after you put Private Pyle from Full Metal Jacket into prison. It's kind of hard to figure out how you end up living in Trump Tower where his lackeys are this unprofessional. You are everything that's wrong with this city! Huh. I was gonna say the same to you. You know what to do, man! Really? Surround him? That's the best you have. Thanks for the input, Jeff. Okay, before we move on, I just want to think of something really quick. You ever have that moment when you're like a workplace environment and your boss is like, I definitely know what I'm doing, and then they really have no idea what they're doing? It's fine, Parker. I invented this equipment. I think I can handle it. Twelve seconds later. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? Overall, the stealth gameplay is uh, pretty good, you know? It's kind of simple, kind of easy. It's definitely no Splinter Cell or Hitman, but it gets the job done. Get a lot of cool gadgets you get to use webbing up people. But, you know, it's a little easy. I guess it is easy to sneak around a city when this is what you're hearing 24-7. <laughs> Oh shit, we still need to do combat. Uh, uh, 10 out of 10. Made me feel like Spider-Man. Yeah.